He won the war. Not on his own. And he's certainly humble about it. He's a murderer. Cold blooded killer. Warmonger! Murderer! murderer. Oh. He was fighting for us! Oh, because of you. We were fighting for our right. And I said, must my sons be slaughtered in the street for valiant doings in my country's cause? Sacrifice Alabus! For our brothers! Alabus screamed and he squirmed. Alabus called for his mother and his brothers. No! Please, stop. And they held Alabus down, cuffed his wrists, and cut him open alive. They pulled out his entrails whilst he was still alive. And it was so warm. And we threw them into the fire. His limbs crackling and blistering, and melting and burning, and smoking and smouldering and disintegrating and consuming. And we began to wonder whether or not this is how it all started. Whether or not it began to 
down much deeper than this, and whether or not tomorrow's need for revenge was spurred from this event. And each you one, you motherfucking cunting bastard dick shit, twat fucking dick hole cop sucker! And he tried to look fun, peaceful and victorious, one gracious and triumphant leader. He had no tears for his lost brothers and sons. He sacrificed as was demanded and lay rest for his kill. And yet, as a father, I cannot understand why you would not listen to my pleas. Thrice noble Titus, spare my firstborn son. You have to understand we were doing what was expected of us. You lost children, as did I. Does any more blood need to be shed? In peace and honour, live not Titus, no! Saturninus realised Lavinia was Bassianus betrothed. He got so angry. I've never seen him react like that. He turned such a scarlet colour. So red. So, so, Lavinia so. shamed him. I didn't. It wasn't the war and I just... So we ran. We ran so fast. And Mutius. He killed him. No questions. Oh God. Didn't even blink. No hesitation. His own son. He killed his own son. And suddenly everything wasn't okay. And we stopped. And in this moment. And in this moment, no one was on his side. And Goths, Romans looked at him. And blood. Drip. 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 Drip, 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 So I took my place as emperor, and in that moment I never felt so little compassion for a man. A man? Is he a man? And then it clicked. I didn't want to see him anymore. I didn't want him in my court. I think it was the war that made him do it. No, it was the shock that made him do it. I think it's his psychopathic nature which made him do it. We'll never know now. So does it really matter? I mean, is it going to change anything? I lost a brother and he lost a son. I'm asking you, does it matter? Does it matter? You're overthinking this. You killed his son. That's all that needs to be discussed. I could not let this opportunity pass me. He couldn't leave now. We don't want him to go now. Don't let him leave. Mother! Mother! 
When I turned to Lavinia to ask if I was to marry Tamora, Queen of the Gods, if this would be agreeable. And I said yes. He looked so disappointed. And then he looked shocked. And he turned really? his head from Tamora to Saturninus to Lavinia. And he stared so intensely at us. Almost dumbfounded. His face was unable to hide his confusion. And then a sudden look of realisation crossed his face. Do you think he knew then? No. It's too soon. Not yet. But we saw Lavinia cling on Sebastianus. We saw Kyra and Demetrius give their mother a small, tight squeeze on the shoulder. We saw Saturninus embrace Tamora. And then the big throws. Nothing could prepare him for this. Nothing could prepare anyone for this. How did anyone prepare themselves for this? Now, while I had everyone's attention, I needed Saturninus to keep Titus around. Forgive him. A Roman now adopted happily. We must all be friends, I said. I twiddled the Saturninus' hair. Stroked down his cheek. Bloody fool! What a fucking idiot. Did he really believe Samora would fall that easily? Even he was surprised at how easy his Saturninus crumbled. I, I forgave him. And he said, Tomorrow, and it pleased your majesty to humble the path and the heart of your being, with more than half will give your grace one shot. And we nodded, agreed, and headed off for the next day. My name is Aaron, lover to tomorrow, influence to those who are easily led, tease to those who are insecure, tyrant to those with power, right hand man to the devil. Did he ever acknowledge me? Once, but that comes later. Servant to the Goths. Trickster to the pathetic, the dark. We noticed Lavinia. Who wouldn't notice Lavinia? 